journey was going on, I began to travel more. I was sharing this, this gift and this story. So we traveled all over the world. I mentioned earlier we went to places like Australia, London, Kentucky, Canada. But that's probably one of the, the best parts about this is the ability to travel. In fact, just this morning we flew in. We were having a window scene. I was looking out the window. The sun was shining down. You can see this very crisp and clear shadow of the plane. The pilot hit the throttle. He jetted down the runway, began to take off the ground. I can still see this very crisp and clear shadow of the plane. We begin to rise a little bit higher in the shadow. You can still see it, but it was a little fuzzy around the edges. It's beginning to raise up in the air, begin to be out of focus. Look more like a, like a flying duck rather than the plane we're in. And before you know it, we're above the clouds and the shadow is nowhere to be seen. And as I was coming here, I was thinking about this journey and how it begun. How it was a lot like that situation where I started out I was like, this is the purpose of this performance. I want to just hop on the stage and just create these paintings in a rapid pace to just entertain. And along the way, on this journey, realizing that this platform can be used for so much more than just entertaining. Now, it was, it was entertaining. It's been entertaining so far, right? obviously the core to this, creating these images in an entertaining way on this stage. But I began to ask myself, what else can we do with this, these few minutes on this stage in this platform? With what is only a few hundred dollars in materials, it's only a few minutes on stage. And I would ask, how can we benefit other people through this platform? So I would challenge myself and my team behind the scenes, and I thought, well, how much money can we raise from nonprofit organizations and charities? And so, so far, I'm 28 years old now, so far we've been able to help raise over $750,000 for nonprofit organizations and charities. And just so you know, so we're very clear, these, these organizations bring me out to their event to perform. I create the paintings. The generous people in the audience has bid on these paintings and the money goes straight to these organizations. We don't have a foundation, it just I just created. And it goes straight to who it needs to benefit. But actually, they're not here right now, but can we make some noise for the generous people that have bid on these paintings over these past years? Can we make some noise for them? I mean, could you imagine coming to an event in the tux and you're going home with like a six foot wet painting? So I, I appreciate them doing that. And so, and actually the goal is by the time I'm 30, we're able to reach our goal of $1 million. Using this platform to raise $1 million for nonprofit organizations. Now we all have these passions that live inside of us. Mind is creative. Your passion may be creative, competitive, charitable, profitable, scientific, mathematic, whatever your passion may be. It's that thing that lives inside of you. And when given the opportunity, when you apply this purpose behind it, you have the opportunity to benefit and inspire others. And there's this very inspiring story that I want to share with you. This gentleman had a very, not a very odd passion, but it was different than most people. He had a passion for programming. In middle school and high school, he would create these information sharing programs. His parents noticed that he had this peculiar talent. And so they pushed him, they encouraged him. Eventually he went off to a great, great college, Harvard, not bad. Okay. I mean, it's no Washington State University, but... <laughs> but he went to Harvard and he pursued this passion of programming. And in his dorm room, he, he launched a um, small website called Facebook. Yes. She called it, yeah. You got it. Onto this. Mark Zuckerberg. Well, allegedly. You guys all saw the social network? Yes. Allegedly launched it. 
But the most amazing thing about Mark Zuckerberg's story is not the, just the fact that he's one of the youngest billionaires, but it's the fact of how he used his passion, applied this purpose behind it to benefit and inspire others. This past, uh, I think it was a little over a year ago, Mark Zuckerberg dedicated over $100 million to the New York school system to benefit and inspire the students in the New York school system. He could have bought several airplanes. He could have bought several staplers for the Facebook office. He could have created Farmville too. I mean, there's so many things. <laughs> but he decided to use his platform to benefit and inspire others. Now, are you guys ready for another painting right now? I'm just curious. <laughs> Now these paintings that I create here on this stage, most of the time you recognize them in a moment. And you know them for what, what they do, whether it's a, a famous musician or a leader. But when you look at it, you know them in a flash of who they are and what they represent. And what I want to challenge you with today is that, you, can you guys be honorary artists from this point on? Is that okay? Can I call you artists? Because today I want you to start thinking about creating your own self-portrait. And in the future, when people see your portrait, what they would know of you in a flash. How you use your passion, how you use your platform to hopefully benefit and inspire others. As this next painting comes to life, I want you to keep this in mind. This person, to their last breath, transformed not only a nation, but generations on how we view this world. And when you see this portrait, you'll know it in a flash. Are you guys ready for this right now? I need to know you're really ready. You ready for this right now?
evening. This nation will rise on its live out its own meaning of its dream. We hold the truth to be self-evident. Even the state of Mississippi, a state 